I just want to quickly make a video talking a little bit about my first day at WGU. I'm going to tell you guys some of the good, some of the bad, because um, we do have a few issues. But I want to make sure that especially when you you know prepare for WGU, when you really start that first day, that you go in there with realistic expectations. Because right now they're having a few issues and I've already had to kind of change my plan on the classes that I was going to do in the order that I was going to do them. And it's okay. I just want to make sure that you guys have that that realistic expectation when you go in because you're probably going to go in and things are not really going to go as smoothly as you want them to. Just so you guys know, I live in the Eastern time zone and WGU is in mountain time, which means that there's a two hour difference. I am technically two hours ahead of WGU. Maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. But at this point, I'm no longer like a really big night owl. I just usually wake up at about 6 a.m. every morning. And so this was no different. Yesterday, 6 a.m., I woke up, I was excited, I logged into the system, but I couldn't access any of the classes. Now, to be honest with you, this was expected. My program mentor even told me, you're probably not immediately going to get access. And it's because their system updates on the first of every month or something like that. And so I just had to wait. I figured I would have to wait a few hours. And that's what my program mentor thought as well, not what happened. What actually ended up happening was um, I checked every single hour and I did not get access to my classes until 4.15 p.m. And so it was like 10 hours of me being awake, just checking and checking and checking. And I couldn't really do anything because I couldn't get into classes. One of the first things that I did when I finally got access is I went straight to the, the Business of IT Applications class to request a ITIL voucher because you need to take the ITIL and pass it in order to pass the class. And I heard it could take a minute to get the voucher. And so I will say this just to be clear, I requested the voucher exactly five minutes later at 4.20 p.m. And as of right now, the next day, I still don't have the voucher. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's not the end of the world. It may take a couple of days or it could be really quickly. I think your, your, um, your mileage will just completely vary on that. But what this does mean is that because I don't have the voucher and I can't schedule the exam, my original plan to do that class first, it's not going to happen. That's going to have to be on hold for the moment. And instead, I'll need to focus on another class. And then when I finally get the voucher, then we'll come back and, and we'll deal with, uh, deal with that class. Unfortunately, there's still another problem. And the problem, I actually saw it when I went to log in, uh, when I finally got access. They had another error message that popped up about some mind map thing that I've never heard of. Uh, and I was like, yeah, maybe hopefully that won't affect me. It does. So what happened was this morning, I was like, well, okay, I'll, I'll just work in another class. And so I did the pre-assessment for the ethics of technology class. And I got a passing grade, but it was a couple of questions I got wrong. So I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and study this stuff. Um, it shouldn't take me too long. Well, I tried to study it, try to click on the information. And I got an error message saying that uh, the license is expired, which I guess is the the issue that WG is trying to resolve. So uh, unfortunately, even though I want to, you know, study for this class and get it done, I can't use any of their material because there's a license issue now. To the best of my ability, I will be fair and impartial. And so look, when WGU does right, I will praise WGU. And when they mess up, they're going to get the criticism that they deserve. This whole situation with the license being expired for, for mind map, can gauge, whatever it is, um, that's completely unacceptable. And WGU, shame on you guys. I know that it's probably some internal problem that you guys have had, whether it's your billing department or maybe IT, whoever it is that's responsible for paying that damn bill on time that didn't get it done. That's completely unacceptable. You guys are a college. You have thousands and thousands of people that need that license to be able to access the study material to do your courses, and you guys didn't pay the bill. Completely unacceptable, in my opinion. And I know that some organizations have this problem because I've worked for organizations that didn't pay attention to when their license expires. But yeah, for, for you being a big university, completely unacceptable, in my opinion. And just so we're clear, this isn't something that's been down for the past 30, 45 minutes. This was broken immediately when we finally got access yesterday. And still, as of making this video on the second day, it's still down. It looks like what my options are for dealing with this ethics of technology classes. I can either just try to take the, the full exam anyways. And, you know, you know, I, I got a pretty good score on the pre-assessment. I probably would pass it if I just took the exam. So option A is to just do that, you know, do my first attempt, see if I pass or not. Um, option B 
is to look at the questions that I got wrong and then, you know, try to Google and figure out some of the things, uh, some of the acronyms that I got wrong and things like that, and just learn that on my own really quick and then attempt to do the exam today. Or C is to just wait and see if WGU finally gets their stuff together and then eventually uh, I'll be able to use their official material. And honestly, I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. I might wait or I might just do the first attempt, see what happens, and then go from there. One of the positive things that I'll highlight about WGU, and I was really curious about this, is it appears that these internal exams, you can pretty much schedule them like very, very quickly. If you guys don't know, these are live proctored, so somebody's actually going to be watching you in real time as you take the exam. And um, it was exactly 8.57 when I decided to schedule my exam. I wasn't gonna immediately schedule it. I just wanted to see what the availability was like. And it looked like there was proctors available that could have immediately proctored me three minutes later at 9 a.m. Looking online, it appears that usually there's some type of availability within like 30 minutes to an hour in general, which is cool. So, you know, if you are trying to study hard and you're ready to do it, you don't have to like schedule like 24 hours in advance or something like that. As long as there's a proctor available, you can immediately get it done. The other thing that I really like is the performance-based classes, as far as the fact that you immediately have access to know what it is that you need to do, what the requirements are. Um, so for example, English Composition 2, I've looked over it, I can see the entire rubric, I know what I have to do, I know what's required, and you know, there's no like uh, set time when I have to do it, I can just immediately get it done. And so that's what I'm considering because my plans have changed so many times already that um, I am getting a bit frustrated, but I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. So, you know, my original plan was to do the ITIL class. Can't do it, still waiting on a voucher. Um, then I was gonna do the ethics and technology class first because I couldn't do ITIL, but now I don't have access to the study material. So maybe I'm gonna wait on this class. Maybe what I'll do instead is just do this English Composition 2 class, even though I don't really wanna do that today because, you know, I don't, I don't need any kind of external anything. I don't have to wait on anything else, I can just, you know, buckle down, sit and do it. So that's good. At least there is something that I could do, even if I really don't want to do it right now. And that's it. I just wanted to give you guys some quick initial thoughts. Um, I'm pretty sure that this whole uh, Converge, whatever it's called, the stupid software that they use for their study material, I'm pretty sure it's going to get resolved. Hopefully it's resolved even by the time this video gets posted. But um, right now I'm, I'm a little scatterbrained because, you know, I can't do the class that I wanted to do first and I can't do the other class because I don't have access to the material. And so I'm trying to decide what it is I want to do. These are really like first day problems, I think. Well, I'm, I'm in day two now, but, you know, this is probably like first week problems. I'm sure it'll get sorted out. And once it's sorted out, I'll be able to, you know, more easily plan out my classes and get things done in the order that I want to get them done in. But uh, yeah, it's just a few frustrations here. I just wanted to make this video because again, I want to be completely open and honest with you guys about the good and the bad. Um, I want you guys to keep your expectations realistic because there are some things that are going to happen that will be beyond your control. But in some cases, you may have alternatives or other things that you can do to fill your time. So that's it for me. I just wanted you guys to know what was going on. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you on my next video.